So here we are outside one of the Gardner buildings in Drake Court. Who was Gardner and why has Drake only got a court, not a building? Gardner was the Chancellor of the University and before then, in the 1970s, before then he'd been Lord Chancellor under the Labour government. And when he became the Chancellor here, he started off becoming an Open University student as well. And that's unusual for Chancellors, but he wanted to get the experience. And then, a few years later, um, somebody, the IRA tried to blow him up, which was also of interest, not only to him, but also because at that time, many prisoners in the maze in Northern Ireland were studying with the Open University, not just Republicans, but also uh, Unionists. And the fact that they were both studying often together enabled them to recognise the nature of their differences and their similarities and the fact that so many of those people studied with the Open University then went on to become involved in the peace process tells you something about the significance of the Open University in helping not just national politics but also generally with building people's confidences, allowing them to understand the bigger picture and nuanced notions of how society exists. And whilst the Open University still has a committed um, uh, way of providing education to prisoners, the things that you're talking about there strike me as being quite common to many OU students, having that idea of perhaps being isolated, um, perhaps having a difficult start in life and, and finding it difficult maybe to find time and the energy and commitment to their studies. Absolutely. I think that's the significant thing is that the prisoner students in some ways are like many other students. That sense of having often got very poor educational background, sense of isolation and the need to gain confidence and understand how to study is a very important part of being a successful student. And what about Drake? Who was he? When they first appointed the dean, that is a person in charge of the Faculty of Social Sciences, they appointed a person from, who worked at Kent University, He'd done a lot of work on getting students to collaborate, getting students to um, have structured courses and he became the dean, the first dean. Most of the modules at university are, are, have a letter at the beginning telling you which faculty. So there's T for technology, S for science. For social sciences, it's D, which stands for Drake. So although he's only got a courtyard, as you point out, he's also got all those modules named after him. 